is out boy army welcome to another video on the channel this is one i am looking forward to because it is a big one team of the year is almost here you heard it right it is nearly here from what i've gathered it looks like team of the year is going to be here on the 22nd um voting closes on the 18th i don't think we'll get players straight away so it's that's a week today so friday the 22nd i think is when we might get the first batch of players from team of the year this video is going to be talking about what team of the year um could be like not the team itself i've done that a couple of times but what we can expect from team of the year what's probably going to happen during the promo and how to prepare specifically for it so team of the year like i say i think we'll drop on the friday next week i'm not certain about that i'm recording this video at 5 15 today um, um so we might get some content at 6 p.m a new promo headliners part three i don't know i don't really think we've really had a third part of most promos obviously team of the season but i'll do a video at six as well that'll be before this one if we did get anything at six um so hopefully some good content at six today but yeah i'm expecting team of the year next friday and what normally happens because i know a lot of people either forget or not aware they've not played during team of the year before on foot is that we get the whole team announced so we'll know who the 11 players are we will get it tends to be either the attackers or the defenders first and if it's the defenders first then you'll get midfielders then attackers if it's attackers first you'll get attackers midfielders then defenders and they tend to be in packs for like two days each and then two days for defenders two days for midfielders two days for attackers i think last year it was defenders first but I could be wrong there and then once the um once they've all been in packs for two days the whole team of the year is in packs at the same time keeper goes with defenders by the way um so three different if it's like previous fifas we'll get three de uh, separate um parts of the team of the year and the whole team of the year should be in packs at the same time and then last few years there's also been a vote for a 12th man Neymar won it one year, CR7 won it another year. Um, so somebody, let's say, it'll be an attacker most likely. So the attack, the players who probably are going to win it, are Lewandowski, Messi and Ronaldo, Neymar, Mbappe, players like that. Um, one of those will miss out at least, or more than one. And whoever of those misses out will probably uh, win the 12th man vote. The 12th man tends to be a card that EA probably want to be on the market and it normally comes out in packs a couple of days after the original um uh full release of team of the year <coughs> so the team of the year in packs and the 12 man in packs that's only part of it my advice would be if you are planning on spending fifa points so you're preparing to spend fifa points do not spend a single one until the full team of the year is in packs i don't think you necessarily have to wait for the 12th man but don't um don't buy the promo packs until the actual full team of the year is in the chances of packing team of the years are very slim the chance of packing them before the full one's out is even slimmer so save your points for then um and then the same goes a lot of people have a lot of packs saved um i don't have loads i have about 20 on here similar amount on my xbox account if you've got any packs saved you've probably been saving on purpose team of the year keep them saved wait till the full team of the year i've got a friend marco who i've done coaching with a lot known for a year or so now who's got probably over a thousand pounds worth of fifa points of packs saved um i'm going to open those for a video i'm going to see what basically a thousand pound worth of packs would get you during team of the year so i'm looking forward to that but definitely save your packs don't waste your um packs before so anything you get in weekend league now save um like i say the packs um, at that point you're unlikely to get anything but they could end up being something more if you just wait a little bit i wouldn't be wasting them on headliners one potential card that we could be getting either very soon or a decent chance during team of the year where there's a lot of hype by the way is a flashback or not even a flashback an end of an era wayne rooney wayne rooney is built for fifa i've got his card up we got a really really good flashback from rooney on fifa 20 so i'm just going to read some of the stats that he had last year talk about him and what i think of um 
the card that he will get. It'll be similar to the flashback, I imagine. Um, and basically talk about how I think he'll play on this game. Like this is. Let's just check his current card. So his current card has three star, three star. Last year, his flashback had three star skills, four star weak foot. I think at the very least, like very least, I think they would give him um, a four star weak foot on um, an end of an era card. Probably four star skills to be honest as well. Simply put, because um, the, it's the last big card he's going to get before he maybe is an icon. Um, I'm sure they'll try add him as an icon at some point. Uh, Wayne Rooney, they're very popular, very good on FIFA most years. Last year, his card had 89 89 on Excel and Sprint Speed. So, with a Hunter or a Shadow, he'd have 99 pace if he got that again. 79 agility, 88 dribbling, 98 reactions, 92 bounce, 99 composure. <coughs> Very good dribbler. All his passing stats were around 90. His shooting stats were all around 90. His physical, he had 90 strength, 93 aggression, 70 defending. Like If Wayne Rooney gets a similar card on this game, he is going to be an outrageous CDM. And with cards like Rashford, Joe Gomez, Walker, Tavernier being so top tier this year, um, I think like, he could be an amazing card and not as hard to link in as last FIFA, to be honest, because last FIFA, the English players weren't quite as good, in my opinion. Um, so Wayne Rooney, SBC, depending on how much it comes in, I guess, uh, could be a very good one. And it's one that I think if we don't get in the next few days, we'll definitely get during Team of the Year. And that'll be a top tier card. Um, SBCs are another big one. What you can expect during... um what you call a team of the year we should get this is normally when we get some pretty decent um flashback team of the year sbcs so any player who's been in the team of the year tends to be pretty mad because they're normally some of the best players in the world so you, of course you'd expect them to be mad <coughs> so last year i think it was last year anyway we got a 95 hazard he was blooming expensive like one and a half mil but he was near enough an end game card. Not quite, but not far off. If you have any untradeables that um, are high rated, unless there is an SBC that comes out that you are just desperate to do before now and team of the year, save them because there will be one or two minimum, probably very good cards that come out in SBCs. They won't be good value. They never are. But if you have a lot of untradeables, this might be what you've been waiting for. Uh, I feel like we got a David Luiz one on FIFA 19. Yeah, FIFA 19, we got a really good David Luiz SBC last year. We got Hazard like The SBCs, like I say, not good value, but they tend to have some really good players in them because EA want to hype up team there and make it a promo people really care about. Probably, though, for a lot of people, one of the biggest things is the upgrade packs that come during team of the year. So last two years, I think, maybe more, but at least the last two years, <coughs> Um, what EA have released has been like league upgrade packs. So we've already had some of them this year. Some of you might have even done them to save for Team of the Year. But it's packs where you can say get... There tend to be two options. Either a pack with one rare and 10 gold from one league or three rare and eight gold from one league. And what will tend to happen is... Um, they'll do it for all the major leagues. Obviously, there's no one getting in the team of the year outside of the five major leagues in Europe. Um, you probably want to do it in the league that has the most, which will probably be Bundesliga or the Prem. Bayern Munich are probably almost certainly getting Lewandowski, Kimmich and Davies and Neuer. So they're going to have four players there. The Prem's probably getting Trent, Van Dijk, Bruno, KDB. So that's four. So that's eight already. So my advice with these league upgrade packs, assuming they come because they tend to be a little bit expensive. So most people aren't going to make profit on them because you get untradeables back. But it's probably for a lot of people their best chance at getting a team there. Put them into Bundesliga or Prem. If CR7 is in, then you might want to just do it for Serie A because you might really want CR7. But you have to remember the chances are quite slim if there's only one. <coughs> If, by some chance, Mbappe and Neymar both get in, which they could, if one of them gets the 12th man, I think there's a good chance one of them gets in the actual team and then the other gets in the 12th man. 
um, then the French League can be pretty good too. Because even though there'd only be two of them in the team of the year, um, there's not as many rare French players in that league. So you have to think about it like that. And then the other thing that comes with that is to do these league upgrade packs, you have to have lots of non-rare golds and rare golds to put into the SBCs. Um, so if you've got a club full of them and EA try release something before, I would not be um, wasting them. Save them for the league upgrade packs that are probably going to be coming soon. Um, the, pro the market also, that's something else to be thinking about to prepare for. It has already crashed quite a bit. But my advice would be, if you've got quite a lot of coins and you're waiting on some team of the years that you really want to say, you really want to get that Bundesliga um, trio of Kimmich, Davies and Lewandowski, that's almost certainly going to come. And you've got a lot of coins to be able to afford these. The prices are going to crash on players even more. Like, what is Neymar now? This is PlayStation where he's even more as well. Neymar is under 700k. Like, that is crazy price for him. I think by the time Team of the Year comes out in a week or two when we get the full release, like, prices are going to drop quite a bit more because Team of the Years are out and they're the best cards of the game pretty much all year. So I, I would personally sell your teams. Now, th don't take my advice completely and then blame me if it doesn't go right. I'm not a trader. Um, I'm not the best when it comes to um, train advice i'm just going off what happens generally on most fifas um i would expect that we will probably have a price drop even more oh excuse my yawning and you'll lose coins if you hold your players so if you save in for team years that might be what you want to do just for a week or two um you can get a very cheap meta team anyway that can play champs if you still want to play champs Watch the videos I've done recently on best meta players in every position. Um, got lots of cheap options in there that you could build a good squad to compete with still for a week or two. Like I say, though, I think the actual team of the year, the, like seeing who's in it, will be on the 22nd. I think the full release will probably be the 29th. Um, but it's normally an exciting time of the year, you know, for FIFA. Uh, we get some of the end game cards already. My personal opinion is it's too early. Like, What do you guys think? I just think... It's too early in the game to be getting cards that good. But um, I think EA's idea is probably they want to make as much money as they can from the game, obviously. And um, with Team of the Year, it's probably at the point before most of the player base starts to drop off so they can still make a last bit of money um, during it. Uh, th that's it for this video, really. Hopefully that's given you some advice, more of an idea what to expect um, from Team of the Year. I uh, appreciate you guys the support on the channel tomorrow's video we're going to be talking about how to deal with delay in weekend league a topic close to many people's heart appreciate you guys tune in tomorrow i'll be streaming some of my weekend league now i'm feeling a bit better appreciate you guys sticking with me this week even though um, my fro voice hasn't sounded very good you guys are the best love you have a good night